if you follow my channel, you know that I recently, four months ago, switched to GNOME to try it out. And I've done a couple of videos about it and giving like my thoughts and impressions. Now I'm switching back to KD Plasma and not because I dislike GNOME, but you know, KD Plasma is what I, is what I work on most of the time. And uh, I actually really like it. So it was necessary after a bit to come back. But a, a good question would be why now exactly? And the answer to that is 5.25 because when I first started using GNOME, I was actually blown away for um, by some features that it had. Like that overview was really good. The overview effect, uh, which is, is it co it's called overview in GNOME, right? Yeah, when, when you press the me meta key. And also gestures were super amazing. So my first thought was like, okay, I'm gonna stay here for quite some time because it's really good. But um, KD Plasma just, improved a lot in this month so maybe i should do that more often but i mean seriously now kd plasma has one-to-one -one touchpad gestures that are really good the wayland kd plasma session is so stable i have had zero issues with it whatsoever and it has a new overview effect that's like pretty cool to say the least so i'm actually really happy really really happy uh, with what KD Plasma is doing. And when I switch back to KD Plasma nowadays to do development, because I've always used GNOME daily and then switch to KD Plasma for actual development, I'm, I feel just more at home and I feel I don't have the feeling anymore that KD Plasma is lagging behind compared to GNOME in certain aspects like uh, beauty and gestures and the overview. Now KD Plasma is really pretty. I'm also really proud to have implemented the floating panel, which makes me happy. It has a lot of blur and everything because I contributed to that as well. And uh, the new gestures are amazing. So 5.25 just convinced me instantly to go back. So yeah, the second question is, well, what do you think of the experience with GNOME? And that is, it has been really nice actually. I'm leaving behind GNOME, but not in a bad way at all. I actually really liked the extensions concept. There's a, an however. I really like them because they actually worked very nicely out of the box and they allowed me to customize much more than I thought. Um, at the same time, GNOME does have some issues with like a compa compatibility bringing extensions from older versions to the newer ones. I was lucky enough to not have any issues switching from 40 to 42, but maybe if you stay in GNOME for a longer period of time, switching between periods w might be, switching between versions, sorry, might be a bigger issue. I've also had some bugs, which I think were caused by some extensions and they shouldn't have. As an example, it lately often happened to me that the top bar was completely going inactive, unresponsive. That was weird. It didn't annoy me that much, but still. So extensions, cool concept. There are some doubts, in my opinion, in the actual implementation still. There's also everything about theming. I, I just love KD Plasma theming. So that's where my heart is. Gnome does have some theming in, to some extent, but with the whole don't theme my app thingy, I don't fully agree with that personally. But overall, nothing of this is Gnome's fault really, maybe some bugs, but for the bigger things, it's just that me personally, I'm better fit for KD Plasma than Gnome on the long term. So. I'm back. And actually I do have a question for y'all, which is I've used Ubuntu for the last four months because that's what came out of the box on this machine with GNOME pre-installed. By the way, this was a Linux laptop, a Dell. And uh, now that I'm, I'm switching back to KD Plasma, I'm actually wondering how to do that. I do have a couple of options. The first option is to keep my computer as is currently which is having GNOME provided by the distribution normally. 
and then also having KD Plasma, which is not actually provided by the distribution. I didn't install it. It's actually built directly from source, which is super useful because, you know, actually developing stuff is easier if you have everything built from source and always updated to master. It also means that it's super unstable. I can deal with that, but it might be nicer to have a stable and an unstable KD Plasma versions. And uh, I'm not sure if the KD Plasma provided by Ubuntu is the best way to approach this. Maybe it is. Have you ever tried installing Ubuntu with GNOME out of the box and then later on installing KD Plasma? Did it work well? I don't know. The other option obviously is just uh, do a backup and kill off this operating system and switch to something else, which might be Kubuntu, which might be KD Neon, which might be Fedora, which might probably not be Manjaro. But uh, I, I actually like how my files are okay. I don't have an hard drive to backup currently. So every time I have to switch to something else, it's kind of pain. Also, all of the configuration files, I just don't want to switch to something else if I could. So I don't know. What would you suggest? Like, should I try to use Ubuntu as it is now? Maybe sometimes if I want to try something out, switch back to GNOME since, I mean, it's there. I would prefer not to try to uninstall GNOME from Ubuntu GNOME. In the past, that killed my operating system in the past. I'm having very bad flashbacks. Will I do this again? Uh, yes, actually, I will do this again as soon as my Star Lab Lite, which was donated to me and that's amazing, arrives, then I will try out an elementary OS as my main OS for a bit. I don't know how much, one month, two, four, eight, 12, 16, I don't know. And so the next one that I'm trying out is Elementary OS, just to, you know, keep in touch. If you do have some desktops to suggest, uh, suggest them, but I think that GNOME Elementary OS and KD Plasma are like the main competitors, GNOME and KD Plasma mainly, but Elementary OS is really good too. And uh, I never actually used Elementary OS as much as I should have. Like I had used GNOME before, Elementor OS, not quite. I just tried it for a couple of hours, which is not enough. So I'm really looking forward to actually trying Elementor OS and seeing if it fits me. Probably not better than Kitty Plasma, but that's not the point. By the way, I'm so sorry that you're just staring at a blank desktop. However, this is just me sharing what my current plans are and there was nothing to actually illustrate them. So forget about the desktop and focus on me. And that was actually everything. So thank you for watching. If you have any suggestion, comment them. I will go through all of the comments and see you tomorrow with a new video.